Good evening. Tonight we will be discussing energy and magic. Where does that energy come from? It's an important thing to understand, even though as you move forward, you'll begin to dismiss it more and more, simply because it almost becomes irrelevant because of the abundance of energy. Energy is literally everywhere. At a certain level, everything is comprised of energy. We are made up of energy. So is your dog, your cat, the snow, the sunlight. There's energy everywhere. So there's energy from the sun. Well, we know that. We actually can utilize that energy these days in solar power. We know energy comes from the sun. Because energy comes from the sun, it therefore comes from the moon. Because what is moonlight except reflected sunlight? So we get energy from moonlight. We get energy from the stars. What are stars except distant suns? So when we think of starlight, that is also energy. Is it as powerful as sunlight? No, of course not. Of course it's not as powerful as sunlight. They are far distant and their light takes a long time to reach us. But that doesn't mean it's not energy. It is. There's energy in the earth beneath our feet. There's energy in the water as it flows down the river. There is energy in fire. We know that and fire is quite the source of energy. There's also energy in the air around us. The, with each breath we take, for example, when we talk about air, we take energy in. If you follow the pattern of your breath, you can feel energy as you breathe in. And then as we exhale, we send that energy out. Not all of it, we've retained some of it, but we are still bringing energy in and sending energy out with each breath we take. Every person, plant, and animal teems with energy. We are full of it. It comes from every single corner of the planet, every corner of the universe. Energy is all around us. It's just there. Sometimes that energy is doing a specific thing. For example, sunlight is making the crops grow. Sometimes that energy just exists because that is the state of nature. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. It simply can change forms. So sometimes there's just energy because it was something and now it's something else. So the amount of energy in the universe doesn't change. It's always there. It's just where is it at any given time? but it's always, always there. The abundance of energy available every day is truly extraordinary, all right? It is absolutely everywhere. We are filled with it. However, you actually need very little of it. So this is why I said at the beginning of the video that it's important to understand where that energy is coming from, but then eventually you're just gonna kind of stop thinking about it because there's so much energy available, you're not gonna have to sit around and think, where am I gonna get the energy for this? You rarely have to worry about that because even though energy swirls around us all of the time, you actually need very little energy in order to work magic. Remember, magic is not Harry Potter. It's not shooting bolts of light out of the end of a wand. It's not causing a lightning storm that everyone can see. It's not, nothing like that. It's not exaggerated. It's not all that flashy. It's not anything like that. So because it's not this big flashy thing, you don't actually need much energy to do it. All right? It's just, you don't need it. It's such a small thing in the grand scheme of the universe. It might be a big thing to you. So you might be casting a spell that means a lot to you. But in the grand scheme of the universe, it's nothing. It means nothing. That's a negligible amount of energy. It's just nothing. Not to you, it's not. <laughs> to you, it could be everything. But from the universe's perspective, it's nothing. So because of that, because it's not flashy and it's not a large amount of energy as far as the universe is concerned, you really do not need a ton of it. You don't need more than what is readily available. The energy in your own body that is just coursing through you with each breath you take is more than enough for most of what you're gonna to wanna to do. 
So you don't have to spend a lot of time thinking about where that energy comes from. We are going to talk about where that energy comes from because there are um, sources of energy that you can use if you wanted to. So there's earth energy is of a certain type. There's fire energy is of a different type reflecting the element it's coming from. So you can use energy from different sources for different purposes. You just don't have to. You don't have to go out of your way to search it out because it's just there. We'll even talk about there, in magical theory, there's a lot of discussion of things like energy lays or ley lines, things like that, where there's kind of rivers of energy in the earth. We will even talk about that, but it's not necessary. You have enough energy within you, enough magic in you just sitting there to do almost anything you want. Now there are obviously limits, bigger things require more amounts of energy, but it will be rare that you have to do something or you want to do something that requires more energy than you yourself are capable of finding or using at a moment's notice because we are teeming with it, all right? So think of magic like a gentle breeze. It's almost unnoticed amongst the greater natural world. A gentle breeze, you don't even notice it because there's so much else going on in the world. So magic is like that. You need just that gentle breeze to make your spells work. You don't need everything. You just need that breeze. Just a little. Just enough to make things work. So that energy that you want to use for your spells and rituals can come from anywhere. Um, rituals are a way to kind of focus that energy and spells are a way to use that energy. It's kind of like a directed prayer. We'll talk more about both rituals and spells in different videos. But for now, I just wanted to point out that you don't have to go searching for energy. It is there when you need it. You're not going to have to look for it. You're not going to have to plan a specific action just because you might be able to access certain types of energy. Most of what you're going to want to do will work when you need it to work. Now, of course, there are things that enhance your ability to cast a spell or to use magic. So you might want to cast a spell for gaining things um, around the full moon, or at least during the waxing moon when it's gaining energy. You might want to cast a spell for losing something, such as losing weight. You might want to do that during the waning moon. There are reasons for that where certain types of magic are more effective at certain type times of the month or certain times of the week or certain times of the year. But the amount of energy that you'll need to work those spells doesn't change. So you won't need more or less energy to work that weight loss spell no matter when you cast it. It'll be more effective if you line it up with the phases of the moon or the days of the week, but it won't need more energy or less energy because you choose to do that or not do that. So it's important to remember that energy is always there. It's always available, whether it's the full moon, the new moon, whether it's Monday or Friday, it doesn't matter. There's always plentiful energy. So you will never have to search for enough energy to cast your spell. It's just there. You already have it. So we're not going to worry too much about how to find that energy because you're teeming in it. You're sitting in energy all of the time. So I've just noticed how long this video is going. I'm going to also talk about um, a connection between magic and science, but I'm not going to do that today because now I'm at nine minutes. I did not think I would talk about energy for that long. I thought I would talk about energy for four or five minutes and then tack on a little bit of science. But um, since I'm not going to do that, because we're coming up on 10 minutes for this video, we will talk next week about magic and science and how they can coexist and they should coexist because dismissing science in favor of magic doesn't get you anywhere. So we'll talk about that next week. In the meantime, enjoy your evening, enjoy your week, and blessed be.